Hey guys, welcome to another Blind Wine Review where we take away brand, price, um, bottle, weight. bottle weight, label, label from everything and we give you just a straight up score of a blind tasting of a wine. So today, what varietal do we have? This is a blend. This is a blend. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm fully transparent with you guys, you know this. So, while we were getting ready, Jenny did say, she has her own glass, she said, this smells, what did you say, interesting. I said, the smell on the cork. Oh, on the cork. It has an interesting smell. Okay. So, it is a, a deep violet color, so leading me to think it's, you know, a heavy cab blend. That's probably the main grape or Syrah or something dark. Yeah. Really good nose. Excuse me. Really good smell. Mm -hmm. Jenny doesn't like when I say nose. I don't. It smells like this. Mm. That's actually a very, very good nose. I mean, first off, it is, it is quality. Uh, it is, it just straight hits you. That's, that's one way to say it. Definitely fruit forward, not very earthy. Definitely dark fruit, jammy though. Just really good, really clean, really bright nose. So good. Wow. Can't analyze the first sip. You gotta let the first sip sip, hit your palate, and then take that second one. You know what I mean? I do. You know. <clears throat> yeah. That is very, very good. High quality. Um, you're getting a lot of that dark fruit coming in good tannin probably like medium medium high tannin we're having steak tonight i don't know if you guys can see but we've got a pot of potatoes boiling. We, we do this you know during the day when life is happening when life is happening just put the baby down this is a really good yeah. bottle of wine i'm enjoying it Mm. Really balanced, good acidity, um, you know, medium tannin, I wouldn't go as far as medium high, but medium tannin, and just a lot of that jammy, dark fruit. Um, so, yeah, yeah, because of the balance, it's easy to drink. It's not super tannin or super acidity, it is just everything done really well together. Uh, and because of that, man, this is back to back high scores for the wines. We, we had our first nine last week and to me, I'm trying to, I said it. wow, to you, this is better. I said it. I'm trying to, you know, that was, that was a killer one. The, uh, the chopping block. So, this is up there. This is on that level. I'm going not quite as good as that. I'm going 8.9. Okay. 8.9. The chopping block was the 9. This is 0.1 off. So, it's right up there. It's very good. Let's see it. I'm a little nervous now. What? Did you forget about this one? Uh, did I have anything to do with this one? I thought you did, maybe not. Maybe I bought this one. Wow, Sylvestrin, Cavasso, St. Helena. Wow. Maybe I did get this one. Maybe really cool one. label. Yeah. This is killer, 2015. How much was it? $35. Wow. I really good. Worth every penny. Worth every penny. Yeah. I mean, 
The wine we had last week, which was, it was a nine, uh, was $85. So for $50 less, this, this does the trick. And this is gonna go fantastic with the steak tonight. Well done, Jenny, on your pairing. Thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, Sylvestrin Cavasso. Thank you, Jenny. You're uh, be sure to comment down below what you guys want to see. If you want to, if you have any specific requests of bottles, Jenny will look at the comments, and it may influence her next time she goes into Total Wine. So, uh, thanks for joining us again, and cheers.